The Daily Wire cartoons. What do you mean by this? If the Daily Wire produces cartoons, isn't just isn't it just going to be green M and M hentai? Oh no, are they doing it with with Tuttle Twins? Introducing Bent Key, the next generation of kids entertainment. Holy fuck! A wonderful day with Mabel McClay, Chip Chiller, Ghost Faced Killer. Christ almighty. Yeah, we'll watch this. We'll watch this tonight. It's only nine minutes long. It's a nine minute long ad, but... Discover the next generation of kids entertainment with Bent Key. Does the Bent Key go in the queer hole? What is Bent Key? A new streaming platform for kids content. It's time to unlock a world of adventure filled with content and characters that kids will love and parents can trust. As someone with a one-year-old daughter, I'm so glad y'all are making this stuff. Now, when are you guys gonna do a record label? Fucking Christ, please. No. Don't. I have a two-year-old and a four-month-old. We've been waiting for this since my wife was pregnant with our first. I can't express how grateful and excited we are to see this come to fruition. It's a fucking cartoon channel. I'm over 20, and this still excited me and appealed to me deeply. I guess it is never late to be like a kid again. Wait, my wife is nine months pregnant with our first child, and I'm relieved to know that I have a safe option for my future children to watch. Bro, how, how much longer are you expecting it to be in there? What do you mean? Your future children, who you're going to have in like five hours. What do you mean? <laughs> Someday, when it crawls out of her, years down the line. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Your wife's nine months pregnant. No, oh, there's nothing. Mine's 15 months. Beat that. If it's meant to be non-woke, why does it have such a gay name? Bent Key. When I tell you this brought me to tears, you may think I'm ridiculous. But just the idea that my kids can watch something that isn't going to indoctrinate, but is instead going to celebrate their childhood and teach them how to... And it's not going to indoctrinate them, it's going to teach them how to dream and imagine, is literally tear-inducing. Thank you all so much. What the f***? Wait. Hold on. Bluey... Needs an integration. Don't know if you can make that happen, but it's a masterpiece. No indoctrination and edutains the kids without making the adults lose their sanity. That is not what I've heard parents online saying. I am trying to make a time machine. A time machine! A time machine? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right my, here. Oh my, oh my, where'd you get an idea like that? Well, see, uh, kind of how it came about was like this. I'm kind of, I was missing you so much. Mm -hmm. That I figured if I make a time machine, then I could speed up time and get you to come home soon. Oh, I see. Is this a white woman dog romance show for the kids? Gee, Jasper, that is so sweet <laughs> and so creative. Hey, parents, download the Binky app. New episodes available every Saturday. It just sounds like what's on UK TV. I don't know. Do you not have, do you not have that where it's a real person and a puppet bantering and talking and stuff like that? Is that not available in the US? Also, a new episode once a week? They need to fill their shit up. They need to load their app. Oh, something safe for my kids to watch for 20 minutes and then they're back watching Sesame Street count to three and then dilate simulator. They do? How many episodes, though? We need- you need- you need a lot if you're gonna use up- if you're gonna- if you're gonna replace everything kids watch normally. Well, yeah, I'd say that the- the obvious thing to do is just- yeah. Tiny kids, just show them- just show them what you grew up with or whatever. There are comments that are like, oh, I remember when we had the golden age of dis- It's still there. You can just 
give your kids Golden Age Disney stuff. Like, what do you mean? No, I have to be part of the current thing. I have to be part of the current phenomenon. By the way, sub to the stream now and you can be part of the current phenomenon over here on twitch.tv slash harmful. I would not, however, recommend letting your kids watch this stream. Daily Wire, Ben Shapiro's website. I don't really know what they do there. Is it just uh, a site where they, they post opinion pieces? Is it a news site? I don't know what it is. I should probably know that. It's a news website. Okay. Okay, okay. Presumably there's also going to be a bunch of... Uh, there have to be a ton of op-eds. All these people I know for their opinions, not their fucking reporting. Well, okay. Ben Shapiro's website, where they, they post news, apparently. They are now going to have a service called BentKey. A streaming platform for kids' content. Every time I click, everything just fucking turns off. I'm gonna f lose it. Holy. Is this a sub service? I suppose they'll tell us. Let's see what it is. Hello from Lake Bled in beautiful Slovenia. Many of you know, I've been in Europe these last many months working on our first scripted series for Daily Wire Plus called the... Chat, who is this? <laughs> I'm trying to see, I want to see a video about a streaming service for kids' content if you're a conservative dad. Now I have, I'm in Slovenia. I've been writing things. Ten Dragon Cycle. I read these novels when I was a teenager and they really impacted my worldview and my faith. So it's my hope that we're able to make a successful series. That What's, why has he got his dong out? That's a gross, dude. Put, put that red rocket away, dog. Well, series that exposes millions of more people to those same ideas that I got exposed to all those years ago. It's been just a little over one year since Disney, the most powerful entertainment. I don't like the terms exposing people to ideas. It makes it sound like a disease. I mean, ideas are viral and go viral. Memes, memes go viral. But why would, why would you characterize your own communication in such a way that it sounds like 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 something dangerous or a disease. I am aware my channel is called Harmful Opinions, but still, I'm not actually trying to spread particular memes or an ideology or expose people to ideas. My name is Ironic. Company in the world got caught saying the quiet part out loud, namely that they were using their brand, a brand parents had been trusting with their children for generations to indoctrinate those children into the LGBTQIA cult. <laughs> oh no! He's, I think he's gone too far. Video, one of Disney's executive producers said she's implementing a quote, not at all secret gay agenda and is regularly adding queerness to her kids shows. And it's not just the queerness Disney is promoting. In the show, Proud Family, Disney stirs racial division with songs like Slaves Built This Country, where kids- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this real? She did actually say that. If you are not more autistic than me, you can't take that at full face value of there is a literal shadow faction with a specific agenda and we're, we're slipping that into our cartoons. She does mean something that may mean you want your children to avoid their products. Bringing up that quote after talking about children being inducted into the LGBTQ cult. Bro, you're overselling it. You're overselling it. Don't, like, try and scare people into watching your cartoons. The rap about descendants of slaves earning reparations for every minute they spend submerged in, quote, systematic prejudice, racism, and white supremacy. Walt Disney loved America. The company he founded thinks America is systemically racist. And beyond just their content, Disney as a corporation pushes all the worst excesses of the woke left, paying for its employees to travel for abortions, promoting quote unquote anti-racism indoctrination of its employees, and going to war on behalf of radical left-wing social policy in Florida. It would be impossible to overstate just how big a loss. Um, 
and going to war on behalf of travel for abortions, promoting quote-unquote anti-racism indoctrination of its employees, and going to war on behalf of radical left-wing social policy in Florida. It would be impossible to overstate just... I feel like I have to be fucking more, in, more on the ball of, of happening in the U.S. with Disney. What, what did they do? This video probably isn't good for me if I'm not, if I'm not hyper invested in in Disney and uh, U.S. social struggles. They don't say gay bill; they opposed it. I see. It's how big a loss this is for Americans who believe in basic reality. Disney controls the greatest content library ever created. Their cultural reach, particularly with children, is beyond anything that's ever existed. Recognizing the scope of this loss, the Daily Wire announced that we would spend $100 million over three years to begin our own kids' entertainment company. And today, on the 100th anniversary of the day Walt Disney found... Is it, is it going to just be this meme again? Don't give your children to these people, give your children to us? Is it another one of these? Is this another f***ing Tuttle Twins? ...founded his company, I'm proud to announce the launch of ours. Introducing Bent Key, an entirely new company. <laughs> Stop. For whatever problems there are with Disney, for whatever you don't want your children to be influenced by with Disney, I think if your solution is along the lines of, I need to make sure I can trust the service that is pounding shit into my kids' brains on their little screen, if that's as far as you go as a parent, I, I feel like... I feel like you need to go, like, deeper. Company from the Daily Wire, a company dedicated to creating the next generation of timeless stories that transport kids into a world of adventure, imagination, and joy. Why the name Bent Key? Why not DW Kids, as we've been calling the initiative for the last year? Why not Gay Probe instead of Bent Key? Well, put simply, DW Kids is just too political. Bent Key isn't about teaching kids politics. It's about childhood and wonder and adventure. It's about- Okay, so they're saying they were gonna provide something neutral. Okay, okay. It is still, don't trust them, trust us, but their promise isn't the right values. It's quote unquote, no values, I suppose. Neutrality. Um, that's actually insanely difficult to do with children's programming. Very, 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 very hard to do. You'd need to be incredibly vacuous and, and, and avoid, avoid anything that comes off at all like a morality play. Values and all of the things on which politics are built later. We didn't just come up with a new name, though. We built... Sorry, wait... It's about values and all of the things on which politics are built later. We didn't just- What did he- A company dedicated to creating the next generation of timeless stories that transport kids into a world of adventure, imagination, and joy. Why the name Bent Key? Why not DW Kids, as we've been calling the initiative for the last year? Well, put simply, DW Kids is just too political. DW Kids is too political. Bent Key isn't about teaching kids politics. It's- We're not teaching kids politics. It's about- Childhood and wonder and adventure. Childhood, wonder and adventure. Childhood, wonder and adventure. Wait. It's about values. and all It's about values. All of the things on which politics are built later. And all the stuff on which politics are built later. Right. If you buy into this, if you, if you believe this pitch, there's something broken because you can't believe this whole pitch. You can't believe this whole pitch. It's not about politics. It's about setting them up to guarantee they're good at. We're not gonna. We're not gonna inculcate political views in them. We're gonna inculcate the values that guarantee they will have those political views. Bro. We didn't just come up with a new name, though. We built an entirely new app that's available on all the most popular devices. There are over 100 episodes available right now today on the Bent Key app. And yeah, giveth. I got it the first time, you f***ing Do you not understand what this is? It's fine. Chill. And there will be new episodes released every single Saturday morning. That's right. We're bringing back Saturday morning cartoons. Here's a preview. Hi! You made it! Oh, 
Holy shit. You pretended not to. I didn't even pretend not to. I did a take for the future edit into a YouTube video if I do it. So that I have alternative versions of me watching that section. Do you, do you understand? There are over 100 episodes available right now today on the Bent Key app. And there will be new episodes released every single Saturday morning. How many? Kid Explorer? <laughs> oh no! Was this funded by Epstein from Beyond the Grave? You can't have one of your shows called Kid Explorer. No, dude. It's like the green text of the kid who had to make a gamer tag. <laughs> and, and he talked about how he could never make friends because as a kid, he wanted a badass gamer tag and he knew the movie Predator. So he's like, oh, I'm a kid and I like Predator. What should my tag be? Child Predator. And whenever he tried to add any friends, he'd like immediately get rejected. You can't be like Kid Explorer. <laughs> the Bent Key Kid Explorer. Oh no, dude. It's available on all the most popular devices. There are over 100 oh. episodes of- President Charla, Chilla Swamp. Guys, there are going to be no politics, just values that lead into politics, by the way. There'll be no allegory, okay? There'll be no allegory that directly corresponds to political concepts or politics directly. By the way, episode one is called President Charla. Charla is given temporary authority, authority to rule the house. Will she gracefully transfer control when her time is up? <laughs> Come mad with power. Oh, no. Available right now today on the Bent Key app. And there will be new episodes released every single Saturday morning. That's right. We're bringing back Saturday morning cartoons. Here's a preview. Hi. You made it. Oh, hello. Want to play? Ugh. I've seen enough. These two are ready. Ready or not? Is that Lilo and Stitch? Bluey edition? Here we go. Please keep your arms and legs inside the cart at all times. <laughs> Hurry up, the party is starting soon. Yeah! Follow me! Where is he going? We're going on a treasure hunt. We're exploring the world. Wow. This just looks like you ordered all the kids' programs that already exist on Wish.com instead. Are the ones they're copying? So... Uh, what does Disney produce that's like any of these? What's wrong with that? Look, I hate Twitch. Just because you want Ben Shapiro to fuck your kids doesn't mean these cartoons are good, okay? The party is starting soon. Yeah! Follow me! Where is he going? We're going on a treasure hunt! We're exploring the wild Some weird Roblox shit. It's chilla time! Pretty incredible. It's unbelievable. Whether big or little, little or big, oh. we all. Why does that look so familiar? We all have fabulous adventures together. Wow! It's time to head off for adventure. Look around you. All we need is the big news. Drum solo. I wonder how they're gonna react to all the poor that's gonna be made of this. I think that's what's going to be interesting. That sounded like a threat. No, there absolutely will be a ton of kids. There will be kids who grow up and like, this is all they're allowed to watch. There were also, oh, Jesus, Tim. Oh, what do you mean? That sounds like a threat. You honestly believe the Daily Wire cartoons are not going to have porn made of them on Twitter? You genuinely think this isn't going to happen? This doesn't mean that I'm going to fucking commission it. It's that I know it's going to happen. <laughs> Imagine this. All I see is... 
Also, the bee is kind of like an erect penis with balls. There's even like a testicle inside. The Bent Key Kid Explorer rides again. Adventure. And download the new app, and here's what you'll find. Over the last year, we've produced four original series that we're calling Bent Key Adventures. The first one is called... <laughs> Don't go to bentkeyadventures.com. Whatever you do, you. <laughs> no fucking way. A Wonderful Day with Mabel McClay. And it's about a wonderful character named Mabel and her trusty sidekick, Jasper, her pup. And they get into all kinds of adventures. They sing songs, they read books, they build gadgets, they meet neighbors. They encourage kids in this fast paced world. Wow. See, this is why fences are so good. If we didn't have a fence, this scary man could get. <laughs> they encourage kids in this fast paced world to slow down. Guys, you may have missed it. You've been tricked. World. Oh, no, ruined. They promised us no politics. What's this guy? What's this guy? They're woke. They've gone woke. They encourage kids in this fast-paced world to slow down and take a minute to wonder. Wait, I've got an idea. It's mine. From my head. It popped in my mind this morning in bed. We have Chip Chilla, the first show we ever announced for the platform. Chip Chilla, the ghost face killer, the rizzer, the jizzer. Now fully realized. Chip Chilla is about a family of chinchillas who homeschool, a mom and a dad who create a world. It actually is a homeschooling cartoon. This is more than presenting values. Why? Like, you don't have to have your cartoons be, be apolitical and just be adventure, blah, 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 blah. Why the- why would you say it's- oh, it's just about values. By the way, these are the homeschooling chinchillas. Look at this- look at this allegory for people who refuse to accept they've lost an election, blah, 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 blah. What are you doing? Why pr why- do one or the other. Don't say- don't- don't do both. World of excitement where little Chip and Charla and baby Chubbly discover everything from world history to class- That is true, Neongs. There is- there is a kind of person who is very attached to the idea that their political preferences are not, not, not politics. Not as ubiquitous as some would claim they are, but there are, there are people like that. Are there enough that you'd want to di directly pander to them? I don't know. Sick books and how to care for others. It's a celebration of a deeply loving family that has a blast learning all of life's lessons. Then there's Kid Fit Go, a dynamic and exciting take on fitness. Kids can join our kid instructors for nah, a fun trash. approach to exercise. Jumping jacks? Yeah, if you want to be like a little scrawny bit. Nah, body weight. And They're trying to turn our kids gay. They're feminizing our boys by telling them to do aerobics. This is woke. This is more woke than any Disney thing. This is just trans propaganda. They're going to trans your kids with this. Where's the steel? Where's the pull-up bar? In Kid Explorer, Broadcast Cal explores the people and events that have shaped the modern world in an accessible way for kids of all ages using... Despair says, imagine you go to school and all your friends talk about the latest Spongebob episode or whatever, and all you can watch is this you honestly think any of the kids watching this go to school? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Humor and animation and costumes. You're gonna love these shows. Excuse me? So with humor and animation and costumes. Right, I wonder what this episode's like. You're gonna love these shows. So will your kids. While that's a lot of original content for a brand new studio, we wanted to make sure that our offering was robust and that kids had even more to enjoy. Kids still nowadays get hit hard by trends. I doubt my town, Tame, is the only town where this still occurs. I'd say you're definitely correct that it's not like there's only one thing you watch on TV, so that's guaranteed to be the things the kids like. Dude, the, cr the weirdest fucking craziest shit was all across my town all the kids 
I'd teach guitar was hard to teach for like about six months when all any of them would fucking do was talk about this YouTuber called Stampy Longnose. There's still these hyper contagious trends amongst amongst little kids that are consistent against them within within at least an area. So we built a team to curate content from all around the world that we would trust our kids. All with. around the world. It's taken tens of millions of dollars to get us here and countless hours from our entire team, but we're just getting started. And like all for-profit endeavors, we'll only be able to continue if you find value in the offering and buy it. Many of you already have. For all of our Daily Wire Plus members who've been with us for years or even those who joined us recently, thank you. This wouldn't be possible without your support. And now, with your annual membership to Daily Wire Plus, you'll also get access to the entire <laughs> world of BentKey for no extra charge. Just download the BentKey app and use the same Daily Wire Plus login that you already use, and your family can start enjoying all this brand new content right now. BentKey is also available as a standalone purchase for just $99 a year. That's $99. <laughs> $99 to help us build the future we all want to see. $99 to build an alternative that we can trust. $99. Right. What's the barrier to watching the other stuff? Is this them? So this is a niche product. This isn't them fighting Disney. This isn't them fighting the alternative. This is them... This is... They've just, like... This isn't meant to spread. This isn't meant to have an impact. This is meant to make money instead of spreading. But I feel like, well, I, I guess as the target audience, you'd want it to impact the future, maybe. Or maybe people are just purely like, um, purely like, I'm going to protect my kids. I don't care if the world isn't changed. Not that it would, but you'd think they'd want to present it like that, perhaps. For great content that your kids will love to watch. You can get BentKey now at bentkey.com or download our app just about anywhere. It's taken a hundred years to build Disney. Look, we know we aren't what Disney is today, but we hope in time we might become what they were once upon a time. With, a, with that barrier in this day and age? What the hell do you mean? Also, all the stuff Disney made still exists. Just watch old shit. A little studio with big ideas and the courage to chase them. Walt Disney embodied the American spirit of entrepreneurship and innovation. He risked everything to build his dream. One of his greatest risks and greatest achievements was Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Critics at the time called it Disney's folly. They were so If they are like, so we're going to do a live action, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Because that's them doing what Disney is now. It's, are they going to say, we're going to do, we're going to, or are they going to be like, we're doing another folktale and we're going to rotoscope. We're going to do the rotoscoping and stuff that people went crazy for. Certain it would be a flop. It was 400% over budget and it would have bankrupted the entire company if it didn't succeed. But it did succeed. It went on to become one of the top grossing films of all time. Everything you see today from Disney was made possible by sure. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So there's no better example of Disney's disregard for their own heritage or their disregard for their own audience. Yeah, but that, by them being like, oh, we're going to do some live action shit, get away, get away from the true magic of the animation. Because a, a lot of Snow White was just how it fucking looked. I think Disney massively, massively abandoned such an important part when they abandoned, abandoned the, the, the earlier aestheticism. They're just pure, look good to look good stuff. In their current remake of their own classic film. Walt once said about Snow White, quote, to me, I thought it was the perfect story. I had the sympathetic dwarves. I had the prince and the girl, the romance. I just thought it was a perfect story. Unfortunately, the company Disney founded doesn't agree with their founder and visionary. They're remaking their own iconic film nearly a hundred years later, yeah. They've decided to make some key changes. Yeah, it's fucking live action is They're like regardless of who they cast or or what they do with the dwarves. Lead actress, the new Snow White, Rachel Ziegler, has summed it up, saying, quote, I just mean it's no longer 1937. We absolutely wrote a Snow White that 
She's not going to be saved by the prince and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be and the leader that her late father told her she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. While Disney still uses Walt's name, they've all but abandoned his legacy. Instead of telling stories about timeless truth, what the ancient fairy tales were all about, Disney's new Snow White is an apology for their past and will expose children to the popular but destructive lies of the current moment. Which is why, in addition to announcing the launch of our kids' entertainment company, I also want to announce today that company's first live-action feature film. <laughs> it's a story about a princess and a prince, about beauty and vanity, about love and its power to raise us from death to life. It's our own adaptation of an ancient fairy tale. It's coming in 2024, and it's called... Once upon a time... Why does this look like the GoFundMe of someone trying to sell handcrafted jewelry that they made out of uh, aluminium? Jesus Christ, these fonts, man! That is not a $99 a year font, I'm sorry. In time a prince would come Once upon a time But now that time is gone What the fuck? Trans Snow White? No. <laughs> Wait, is this like AI filtered Ben Shapiro for real? I was kind of joking, but is this like face filtered Ben? What the fuck? I'm losing, it's so, so close. Is this just me being bad with the faces or is this, this is really, really, really close to Ben's face, but like with, with slight feminization. It's his sister. That's not, that doesn't look like his sister though. His sister looks a bit like him. This looks more like him than his sister does. Right. Okay, I feel like one of the biggest things Disney has done is abandoned a form of beauty. But they're, like I was saying, it was all about the way the cartoon looked. It was all about the animation. Nothing looks like classic Disney unless it's really, really, really trying to copy and there's a lot of expertise. To me, they're just more, they're, this, is, this is super close to being just doing the same thing modern Disney is. I don't I don't get how this is a return. Return to tradition. Return to tradition by spitting out something that's easier but will be accepted because it carries or is absent of a particular message. This is prioritizing message over content, aesthetics, whatever else. It's the same shit. Nice. Okay. That wasn't that wasn't too too horrible. Kinda kinda boring, not too much to say, but now rewatching another accent, let's go. Fuck you, that's what. Bald. That's not his sister, it's Brett Cooper. She's a conservative YouTuber. Morrowind exists, Tim. Why complain about new games? I have already played Morrowind. Your children have not already watched the Disney back catalog. If you're saying your goal is to copy the style or overall vibe of something that already exists, and your main point is that it's so they have something to watch other than X, Y, or Z, other modern competitor? 
why would, why would I go for their shit over the classics? Why would I do that? They've seen Little Mermaid already. Now they should watch Ben Shapiro Crossdress. I don't know, man. I don't think so. I'm suggesting... The whole point of what I'm saying is they don't mean what they're saying. They don't even think that's real. Additionally, why would... If the idea is... Oh, they've already seen Disney. Why do we need a Morrowind remake? Morrowind already exists. They're not making new new videos, though. Or rather, their their idea isn't they're making something new. They're making a mimicry of the past. They're literally making a remake of Snow White. To try and capture what Disney did. What's the point? There is a reason to make something new. It's not to recapture something that's already happened. It's to do something new. So don't ever do remakes. That's not at all what I said. If your goal is to cap... If you say your goal is to capture the spirit of the original, capture what this company was producing, and you're, you're doing, like, direct remakes, but you're making massive change... What I'm saying is, what they're saying they're doing and what they're doing are not the same thing. It's not! By direct remake, I mean... Ah... Uh, they're they're making they're making another version of that story. It's directly that story as opposed to their general bluey clone. All those cartoons were new products. Yes, and clones of other modern things. Not at all trying to capture Disney. Not even slightly. No, bang doll. I'm not saying don't do re direct remakes. I'm saying. What they're saying they're doing and what they're doing are two different things. If their goal is to capture exactly what Disney was doing in the past, if they were to succeed at that, what's the point? Disney already exists. If they're not doing that, which they aren't, why would they say they're trying to capture that? It's not about doing it or not doing it. It's about the conflict between what they're saying their goal is and what they're actually doing. Additionally, following that, they unveiled that they're doing a fucking live-action Snow White, which parallels what Disney are doing, modern Disney is doing, having said they want to provide a contrast to modern Disney that harkens back to the past. What would Disney do if they were like old Disney? Yeah, but they're not doing that. They're not doing that. Or rather, it's not that there's no point in doing it. It's that if you're saying you need to provide an alternative, I'm presenting yourself as something super important, we're providing the alternative, and then your alternative is to do something like what was done in the past? The alternative exists. You're not as essential as you're saying you are. Wait, what did Neong say? Just marketing to draw people who like Disney for its animation, but don't like Disney now for its politics. But they're not doing any old Disney-style animation. Mm, they said the new Snow White will expose children to lies and ideas that are negative. However, what I was saying is that there's the vast majority of what's horrible about New Disney isn't just that. That's a tiny crumb. They are doing New Disney shit, and then the bit that's different to New Disney isn't even old Disney shit. They're not doing what they said. Anyway, we're going to look at some furries. You can still watch it, chat. You can still pay the 99 and watch it. Please, by the way, if you buy it, use code HARMFUL on bentkey.com because I get a 10% commission. I didn't say never do remakes! 
They are just making shit. They are making it for people that are pissed at Disney. It's no more complicated than that. Yeah, they're not capturing... Right. Holy f***. If your goal is providing an alternative in the spirit of something else, for political and values reason, reason no, polit political value reasoning, right? <laughs> And the thing that would function as an alternative already exists. You're not performing the function you're saying you're performing. If your goal is, I like that, I want to make, so, make it so there's more of it, that would be a reason to make a remake. They're saying they want to provide an alternative by copying the general vibe or style or values of something that already exists. There's no need to, to create an alternative. The goal is to make money, that is the only goal. Yeah, probably. Uh, okay, do the new one. Do the new one. You can, you can recognize, right, that someone probably has an actual motive, and you can analyze the internal consistency of their rhetoric at face value. Why are you taking them at face value? I'm not. I'm not. This is marketing to make money by appealing to people who don't like Disney's political stances. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, duh. That doesn't make everything else they say disappear and into something you can't talk about, though. You're saying they have a right to make their cringe? Okay. Yeah, they do. I'm not acting like I don't understand it. I did this to you with my stupid ass take. What was my take? Wait, Polikins, what was my take? Never do remakes, true. Remakes are bad, of course. Of course.